the purpose of this video only is uh, how this drug business can be a trap. The more you buy, the more you'll have to be on the road. That's even going to be the title of this video. The more you buy, the more you'll have to be on the road. What up, what up, welcome to Lindsay and Karen's channel. Good morning, good morning. Ah, I'm waking up. Just woke up with some fuel. And um, I'm getting ready. Gonna brush my teeth and hit the road. Because this is what we do. With Martin, we gotta hit the road. We at we are in Missouri, going to Washington Grand View. If you were Martin and you go to Washington a lot, you know what Walmart that I'm talking about. But um, yeah, top of the morning, gonna brush my teeth. And heading there, I'm trying to be there before Tuesday. The more you buy, the more you had to be on the road. And when I say that, it's because I have proof and I have risen. That proof and the reason is me. I done it, I did it, and now I'm trying to get out of it, right? So the more you buy, the more you'll be on the road. What I mean about this, let's say you went and bought a car, like me. I went and I bought a $50,000 $50, car. I had some credit card that I was paying. I had some loan that I was paying. But when I bought the car, I had to stay on the road a little longer than I used to. You know, I used to go home at least every two weeks, three weeks. But now when I bought the car, for me to be able to afford the car, the car, the vehicle, I had to be on the road at least a month and a half to get the money that I'm looking for to take care of the bill that I have, you know? And sometimes it get on your nerve because you don't want to be on the road for this long. I know in the beginning it's cool, it's fun, it's all good, but it's irritating, you know, to be on the road just to take care of the things that you, you can't even enjoy every single day. You can't because you're never there. So you have to make, you have to put the emotion of buying and accumulate a lot of stuff you have to put that emotion to the side and really make real decision that can help your future moving forward right we let in our apartment go because we were paying so much money like i mentioned in a few videos so we had to let it go two thousand dollars i'm like man this time to let that thing go save some money downgrade or even buy a house maybe at the end of next year and then just go from there right so, another thing that I want to touch on, another thing that I really want to touch on, you gotta consider quitting. You have to consider quitting the truck industry. And why I say that, it's simple. Go watch Mother Trucker, go watch his video and see what he talked about in this video. It's about all the studies of this new uh, self-driven semi-truck they're coming on the market you know we used to only hear tesla talking about this and it, and it wasn't even on the market yet but now i just saw on the news the other day that they're really doing this in texas they're actually taking load just going places to places you know and they do a lot of testing we see them on the road you know constantly doing tests and tests what does that tell you you know down the line doesn't mean that all truck job will be erased but you know if it's not completely erased our money our value goes down and if your value to the marketplace is, goes down then guess what you're gonna get paid low money you're gonna get paid small money as you can see right now look at the rates right my dad is a truck driver and he said this is the first time low. He's been driving for the past 35 years. He's been driving for a very long time. 
and he said it always like an up and down, up and down rate. But this term is extremely low, beyond low, right? And because of that, he went out of business, right? Because he was a he was the owner of he went out of business because of that. So when I'm trying to put all these things together, they kind of let me know, look, man, I have to really, really consider it, add more value to myself so I can quit this job. Another thing that I'm thinking about is we want to be respected, you know. As you can see, look, bus driver, that make money, but they're not respected. Uh, garbage man, they're not respected. Uh, McDonald workers, they're not as respected, which they work really hard, but that they, and they need to be respected, but they're not respected. And I think truck start to be like that, man. It's getting like that. We're not respected anymore. You know, it used to be at one point where a truck driver was super respected. You know, oh man, you're a truck driver, wow. But now it's like the disrespect from everybody. You go to the shipper office, shipment office, and they're just talking to you like, like you just a piece of dirt, you know? And that's not cool, because we're just here doing our job. We're not saying anything crazy to you, but she says you have to have attitude with us for no reason. I don't know, because I guess we truck drivers. He's not respected, and for me personally, that's one thing that I really don't like as well, right? And all these things play a role of, on why I'm making a decision to quit. And once again, I'm not just get up and quit like that. I had to plan this thing. And that's the reason why I'm giving myself six months. And number one, my number one, again, is health. Long-term health problem, you know. We all know you're driving truck long enough, you know. You're here in your 50s. Oh, man. Spend what I'm saying. I'm not saying that because I hate the truck business. I do like the truck business. I really do. For me personally, where I'm going with my life, I don't think I want to be a truck driver at 40 or 50. It's too much with the truck that a lot of people not telling or not speaking on it. When you in school, when you in school, all that talk about money, 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 money. But it's way more than just money. Way more than just money. And these things, if you don't have it figured out, if you don't have a plan, I can promise you, this truck industry can become a trap. And you don't want this to be a trap. You want this to be fun. You want this to, you know, help you go to the next level. So that was my message of the day. Have a plan, work for three to four years, have a plan and consider quitting. Consider quitting, consider add some value to yourself and quit in three to four years. So all new drivers, listen to me, I'm telling you, because I have done it and I did it. I started young and I did it, spent all my money, and now I have all this liability that I have to take care of before I even get out this truck business. So something to think about. They didn't even start loading us yet, but, I'm out and I'll see you guys at the next video. Peace.